We are working on Word Multi Project 3. Currently, we're on the project called Computer Courses. The first task asks us to go ahead and select this table right here. I'm going to go ahead and select this box to make sure I have everything selected in the table. We're going to go to the Design tab and we're going to change the grid table to, uh, or the table colors to Grid Table 2 Accent 1. We'll go ahead and click this drop down and we have the grid tables here and I believe it's this one. If you're not sure, make sure you hover if you're not sure, and then that way you know exactly what you're selecting. Mark completed. The next thing we're going to do is to change the left and right margins of this table. So we still have this table selected, and because we have a table selected, we get special tabs at the top. We want to click Layout. And then over here in the Alignment group, we want to select Cell Margins. And we want to change the left and right to 0.1 on each. We'll click OK. Then we'll click Mark Completed. Our third task asks us to go ahead and split this top cell right here. Right now it's merged to 1, but we want to split it. So um, we still have these special tabs at the top. We're on the layout, and we just want to click Split Cells. And it will ask us 2, 1. That will be correct. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 4 asks us to split the table starting out uh, between OneNote and Outlook. So we'll go ahead and put our cursor here. We'll click again because we have the table selected. We're in the Layouts tab that goes along with this table, and we'll click Split Table. And notice that it dropped that bottom, uh, that bottom section down, and now it's its own table. And then it asks us to go ahead and move that table off to the right, right next to this one. We'll click Mark Completed. And the fifth thing it wants us to do is to configure the table below and have this heading running um, to repeat to the next page. So we'll go ahead and select this table and we need to go to the um, layout tab. And over here in the data, just click repeat header rows. And now if we go to the next page, it has that information there. We'll click mark completed. 